What's up, everybody? This is Lost Dreams 2580. Uh, coming down in here to do some stuff that I really don't feel like doing. Uh, we've all been there with the leveling and everything, and sometimes it just gets horrible. But in this situation, uh, I took and had this gun sitting around for a while, and I figured I eh, might as well level it up, get some extra, you know, XP towards towards my shit, and <laughs> I am definitely not thrilled with this at all. At all. I mean, my Sentinel's going to do more damage than this gun does. Uh, right now, obviously, I'm, I'm an Apollodorus, just sitting around, trying to take this easy. But, uh, this may actually be more than I bargained for here. Level 16 with this weapon. Level 16, and it still takes two shots to kill people on Apollodorus. So, I'm not, I'm not feeling the Prisma Gorgon. I figured, you know, I haven't done the Gorgon yet, and because of because of it being such crap, or or at least that's what everyone says, it's been crap. I've never actually used it. I do like the Supra a lot now since they revamped it, so I figured I'd give this a try and see if it got any better. Um, no. Definitely not. Uh, accuracy? <laughs> You're not going to find it with this gun. Um, uh, just, it, it's just doesn't look good, it has no good actions to it. Uh, the only great part about it is is it's shiny. That's that's about it. Other than that, slow reloads. Uh, it does have high capacity. Uh, the only way I do believe that you're actually going to get anything out of this gun is if you go for status chances just for the damage from status chances. But uh, it rears up. It, it, it's it's just not something that I would really, really look into. Now, now, as I was saying, I just started this level. So these are, well, you can see it popping up on the screen there. Uh, that they're very, very, very low level. And, <laughs> and as you can see, I can't hit anything with it. So, I mean, unless you're going to take and, and sink a lot of stuff into this to keep the nose of it down, or you're gonna play pin straight up on on someone. It's not gonna be a gun for me, or for most people. Um, this is why, if you have it sitting around and you think you're gonna sell it, <laughs> good luck with that. But I started leveling it, so I guess I gotta finish it. One thing I do like about it is it does have a really um, elongated time in between shots. If, if you have it warmed up, uh, you know, that the, the barrel's spooled up and everything like that, it, it does take and hold its its uh, rate of fire for a decent amount of time compared to other guns such as, you know, the Supra or um, the, the Comb. Uh, but that's really the only good thing I can say about this weapon. I mean... Like, I'm power leveling right now, and uh, if, if you've been playing for a while, you, you know that if you want to really power level stuff, one, you either run with a bunch of people that want to seem to run on Draco all the time, or you can do it by yourself and just drop your weapons um, and only carry the weapon that you're going to be leveling up. That way, the full 75% that's split when you kill someone with a weapon goes towards just that weapon itself instead of being divided into three of, you know, weapons, you know, between your primary, your, your secondary, and your melee weapon. But, uh, this is also, since they just did the retwork to the, um, survival, uh, I seem to be getting some decent amount of, um, personal life support now. Um, so I guess they were right about that. Um, but, oh my goodness. Oh, I hate this gun. I hate it with a passion. Don't ever get it. If you do get it, good luck. Sell it to someone that just started the game and thinks it's going to be great.
<laughs> you know, spread the love. Because, uh, three to four bullets. So what are these guys? Level twos? Oh yeah, good shit. Now, I do know that it, that it is an impact weapon. I do understand that. Uh, but there's no reason that I should be taking and having to do this much work to kill these little fucking things. Excuse my language. What do you think? Do you think this is the worst weapon of the game? I think it is. I've, I've played a lot of weapons on this game, and this just seems like it is absolutely horrible. I mean, if it isn't, you know, let me know. What, what do you actually think is the worst weapon in the game? Because, uh... I mean... I could, I could give this weapon if it had good damage and, and shitty accuracy. I could give it props if it looked good and, and, was, and had fun mechanics to play. But other than that, um, I, I really can't say that there's, there's really anything good about it. I mean, maybe there's something hidden that I'm not seeing. But, um, I mean, I don't even want to reload this thing after I kill people just because of the, the sluggishness of the reloads. I'm like, get him, little guy. I'm not gonna. I mean... I mean, just look at that thing ride up. I mean, you gotta aim for their dick. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, I guess they'll take an, uh, take a look at what I'm working at, working with here, because... This is, this is just retarded. It, it makes me not even want to level this thing. It makes me want to throw it right out the window. At least they can't do too much damage, right? I guess we're on a level playing field. not an episode unless I fall off of something at least once. Oh, there we go. We got a headshot on it. Maybe we got to be really accurate. Maybe that's it. Eh. Oh, well, anyway, I, I, I didn't get any, uh, any real mods on it. Um, I did waste a potato on it, unfortunately. I wish I could get that back. I don't think I ever will. Uh, I mean, I got plenty of them, but still. I mean, there should be a warning with this gun. Uh, I ain't even gonna go for a key on this one. I think I'm just gonna take and, uh finish this to 10 and get out of here, so, uh, let's take a look and see what this actually has going for it. Now, as I said, this gun really doesn't have a lot going for it, I mean, uh, other than you being able to do the little tie-dye things and having some shiny on it, uh, it really, really isn't that acceptable of a gun, I mean, it looks like a damn submarine. Uh, it doesn't even hang on the back properly, so, well, let's go look at this here quick, I guess. Finish it up. Now, this is what I was using in the level. That was with a full serration, a full malignant force, uh, unranked shred, and an unranked ammo mutation for it. Now, uh, I am totally addicted to rifle ammo mutation for guns that are supposed to shoot really fast. Now, the fire rate on this is... is supposed to be epic 
but it really isn't. I mean, now, I don't really have much of a chance to get it to full spool. Neither does it really do any damage when it's at full spool, so it pretty much just wastes ammunition the whole time. So, I mean, it, it is just... Oh, man. It's like setting up with a blind date. You just don't want to go to that bar and meter. Um, the stats, I mean, for overall damage are are just ridiculous. I mean, slash 6.6... Uh, four nine, I mean forty nine point five for impact and nine point nine for puncture. Uh, I mean, even even the status isn't isn't really that high as well either. So I mean, it's it it doesn't have crit, doesn't have status chance percentage. Uh, it it the magazine hundred and twenty. Now see that that that's respectable, but for real, if you're gonna have that much ammunition. Um, I mean the Soma. Look at the Soma Prime, for example. The Soma Primes. The stats on that don't look don't look good on paper. But once you get it and you start get building for crit and stuff like that, that thing really rips shit up. But this gun just at at <laughs> at level 16 did not feel like this is going to be anywhere close to an end game gun. It doesn't even feel like it's a beginning game gun. I mean, I have more fun with my Furious than I do with this gun. Uh, the Furious just outclasses this thing completely. Uh, so, I mean, not much to say. You don't get a polarity slot with it at all, so that means you're going to be doing some real work and putting some real time into making this thing beast. Uh, so, as for me, I'm gonna stay as far away from the uh, the Gorgon as possible. Uh, I'm gonna finish this up, and I'm never going to do the regular Gorgon. It's really not that important to me to sit here and put myself through uh, unjustified grind on this game. I mean, the gun just sucks. So, well, that's all I have to say on that one. Thanks for watching. Uh, like I always say, feel free to like. Feel free to comment. Let me know what you think on this gun. Maybe maybe I'm seeing something that you guys aren't. Maybe you guys got something at a higher level than I, I do. You know, so, you know, let me know if you, if you, if you have any uh, information on it. Maybe it can be more enjoyable for me, but it's going to take a lot more fire rate and... Uh, Oh, I don't I don't know what else to make this thing even worth keeping so this is gonna be first on my checklist to get rid of and sell so but alright man feel free to subscribe if you uh, if you like what you see and I'll have fun I'll see you in the grind